Happy Feast to everyone. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany, or also known as the Feast of the Three Kings. This is an occasion for us to reflect on the mystery of God who revealed himself to humanity. That is, God did not only reveal himself to the people of Israel, but he also revealed himself to all humanity. And Jesus appeared in the world in a very concrete situation. He was born in Bethlehem, the son of a virgin named Mary. The adopted father was Joseph, and the representatives of all humanity here are the three kings, the three wise men from the east, who came to prostrate themselves and do him homage. This is a very special action because the act of worship is only for God. The three wise men represented all humanity to profess their faith in the king, not only of the earthly kingdom, but also of the heavenly kingdom. So how did the three wise men recognize the appearance of the king of the Jews and also the king of humanity? It was by the wise men looking up at the sky and seeing the star of the king of the Jews, then deciding to journey following the star to Jesus, the king of the Jews, and worship him. And who are these three wise men? They are wise people who are knowledgeable about science, astronomy, mathematics. And thanks to that knowledge, they recognize the star of the Savior, the star of the King of the Jews. Surely, many people have also looked up at the sky, but did not recognize the star of the Savior. But these three wise men did. Through this, we see that religion and science are not opposed to each other. More particularly, Catholicism is not opposed to science. More precisely, science is the way to lead us to recognize God. Many scientists have affirmed this, such as the famous scientist we know, Louis Pasteur, who once said that science brings people closer to God. Thus, science did not deny God, but helps people recognize God more clearly, see God more closely. In today's era, we want our children to study well, to be successful, to have many high degrees, to have good jobs, stable and good income in the future. This is completely legitimate and reasonable. However, we also do not forget the duty of parents and at the same time Catholics. From the moments of celebrating the sacrament of marriage, the couple promised to God that they would nurture their children, educate their children according to the Catholic tradition. Therefore, we are also invited to help our children not only grow up healthy physically, advance in intellectual life, but also need to grow in faith. We have a duty to help our children gain a sense of faith and recognize God in their lives. If not, then all our efforts are only for the things of the world. However, we do not only aim for the things of the world, but we also aim for the supernatural values, the spiritual value of the heavenly kingdom. Therefore, while striving to study well, acquiring the knowledge necessary for earthly life, we are also ready to use those wonderful knowledge to realize the presence of God in our lives. And from there, we become more humble, like the three wise men of old, ready to bow down, worship the baby Jesus and recognize him as the Savior, the one who brings us the divine value of eternal life. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who you know already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Amen.